Hello once again, it's Mr. Pete, your YouTube shop teacher, and this is episode number 83B, the answers for my What Is It Mystery Tool series. It may interest you to watch 83A, the question. So let's get right to it. Thank you for participating and sending in your answers. Now, number one here, I do not think we have the definitive answer. People were talking about using this for canning. Well, it's not nearly big enough to go around a canning jar. Matter of fact, it really doesn't fit around this jar. Now, you can open up the picante sauce. No, you can't. It won't even fit around that. It would fit around this. I double-checked it, but who cares? It's, this is easy to do by hand, so I don't know. I think it's just a multi-purpose kitchen gadget because it's aluminum, it's rust proof, it's nice looking and it would make a wonderful Mother's Day gift. Not! Item 2 is a piston ring groove cleaner. Most of you had this right, it's a pretty simple one. I'll show you the patent in a minute, but normally depending on who sold it there would be different names right here. It could be KD Tools or Lyle or several others or just blank like this one. Now it's missing the key component here, which is the cutters, and it's a little bit of a turret for different size uh, piston ring grooves, and several people said that this works great. Others said it actually can damage the piston by overcutting it, and you're better off using a broken piston ring. So I don't know, but it's really neat the way it's made with this ratchet and everything, isn't it? And I know there's a lot of different uh, companies that made tools to do the same job. This looks like it's a fairly expensive one. And again that was uh, John DeRosa that sent to me, that to me and thank you for that John. Well someone in the comments sent me the uh, patent number 1946 and there it is. Remember that the patent drawing does not always look exactly like the finished manufactured product. And there's that little turret that I'm talking about, but I think it's at 90 degrees. Unless this isn't the exact correct one, I'm not sure. I tried to find it, I fiddled around and wasted a lot of time. But anyway, that's what this tool is all about for engine rebuilders. Item 3 also sent to me by John. This is just a gorgeous hammer, I've already said that. And we had about a hundred suggestions on what it is. It's definitely not a hammer for uh, chipping wells. It is not a cobbler's hammer. It's nothing like a cobbler's hammer. Someone said it's a plenishing hammer, but usually they got a bigger head, I thought, and why would it have the pick on the end here? Someone said it's a saddle maker's tool, but it looks to me kind of lightweight for that. Others said for uh, silversmithing or jewelry making, it's too big for jewelry, so we do not have the answer for that. Unfortunately, often somebody comes up with the correct answer in this B part of my video. So do look through the comments from time to time because someone else may have made the correct identification. But remember, I do not usually answer any of the comments in this series. So I would say unknown. Most people had the answer. This really was a very simple one. This is an Atlas drill grinding attachment meant to be attached to the right hand wheel of a grinder and it is missing some parts. I'm going to show you the directions here in a minute but the drill bit would go into this groove right here. This part is damaged. I will be doing a video on rebuilding this and then how to sharpen a drill with it. There's another handle missing here and the bracket is missing. So I'm working with another man who's going to send me some parts and uh, he is uh, probably going to send me, I'm going to buy from him, a complete unit I hope. And this was Jim Files in California and he was going to look for that bracket but if I come up with one you know there's no need. So let me put a drill bit in it and uh, show you this approximately what it does. So I've got a drill bit mounted in it and it has a little protractor here. See the 59 degree mark? That's what we would normally use. 
this would fasten onto the side of the grinder. Again, there's a handle missing here, and the pin to locate the drill bit is missing, so I, I just put the drill bit in there any old way, but it has to be oriented correctly, and then you would swing this against the wheel. I did have one of these at the high school in 1969. I'm not sure if I bought it or if it was already there. It really requires a recessed wheel because you're grinding on the side of the wheel. Or you could dress your other wheel, your regular wheel, as well. This was difficult or impossible for kids to use. It just isn't something you're going to grab and pick up and grind successfully like that Vivor that I showed you that I think is just a cat's pajamas. Let me show you the directions. There's a gander and a complete one, so I'm missing this gauge, the handle, the adapter, and this other little part here. And uh, there are directions. There's about six pages, and I got this off of Vintage Machinery. There are the directions, operating directions. It is Atlas. Some of these parts, are, of course, are Zamek. And again, that's what I'm missing, that, that, and that. And this piece is damaged with a little pin in it. That piece, brother. The rigid jaw is what is damaged. Someone ground into it, and the little pin on the end, which is the locating pin, is missing. I do not have the dimensions. That would be fairly easy to make. I'll probably do a video on making that alone because it's triangular shaped. So watch for that video in the future if you're interested in this type of thing, or maybe you have one of these. You might find this interesting, but a man that lives about 100 miles from here went to a surplus store, and they had a whole container of these Atlas <laughs> drill grinders. He thinks maybe they came from a factory around there, so hopefully he's going to sell me one or two of these. He bought a bunch of them. And finally, here's the bonus question number five. And consensus has it that this device is used along with the surface grinder to grind, do a little cylindrical grinding such as sharpening punches and other round materials that would be held in the collet. And then there's a very, very slow motor here that's geared down and you could grind very accurately to diameter. Now this seems to me that it could easily be damaged by coolant, but I, and it appears to be homemade, I'm not sure, very nicely done with 5C collets. So I think that people are correct in their identification of that. Well that concludes this video. Thanks for watching and be sure and watch for the next one. So long for now. This is Mr. Pete.